Hello, my name is Claire Pusinery and I'm a Marine Mammal Project Officer at SPORAC. I'm going to present the work we conducted to support a sustainable marine mammal watching in the wider Caribbean region. First, a few words of introduction. Commercial observation of marine mammals in the wider Caribbean region began in the 80s. It's a fabulous tool to promote biodiversity and the blue economy. It is now a powerful and growing business, but in the meantime, its impact on wildlife is also increasing. Therefore, there is a need to support the development of a sustainable activity. The SPO protocol in its Article 5 references the regulation of tourist and recreational activities that might endanger the survival of threatened or endangered species of flora and fauna, among other measures that should be taken to achieve the objectives of protected areas. In order to support sustainable marine mammal watching, guidelines were developed during a UNEP workshop in 2011 and were endorsed by the SPORCOP and SPORAC subsequently. A synthesis of the studies conducted in 2020 by SPORAC on marine mammal watching regulation shows that marine mammal watching rules, both legislation or voluntary guidelines, have been developed in less than half of SPOR countries. In addition, limited resources to implement, valorize and control the rules results in poor compliance with and enforcement of the guidelines. Therefore, there is a significant need to achieve broader and more effective implementation of the UNEP guidelines throughout the wider Caribbean region. In order to do so, the SPO Species Working Group has written a document that outlines a series of tools that could be implemented based on education and outreach, capacity building, networking, and original certification. Some SPO Species Working Group members believe the development of a certification in the region is too premature. However, some other experts and many stakeholders from the wider Caribbean countries showed a strong interest in the certification project. As a consequence, in the framework of the SPO work plan through the CARIMAM project, SPORAC has conducted additional work on the certification specifications, as well as on the legal instruments that could be suitable to supervise the certification. Finally, the SPORAC proposal could be to support the development of all these tools concomitantly, so that each territory could use the combination of tools that best meets its local needs. Let's now have a closer look at the tools proposed to support the development of a sustainable marine mammal watching in the wider Caribbean region. Education and outreach tools target both sport parties, marine mammal watching regulators and the industry, as well as customers. The objective of such tools is to disseminate the guidelines and to increase awareness on best practices and on the potential negative impacts of marine mammal watching on wildlife. Examples of material, materials that could be developed are flyers, field leaflets, web pages, social media campaigns, etc. These materials could be disseminated throughout the wider Caribbean region, particularly to all marine mammal watching operators. Readily available materials and existing programs should be identified and integrated, of course. And whenever this 
seems feasible and valuable, material could be created jointly by the territories that need them. Capacity building targets both marine mammal watching regulators and industry. The objective of such tool is to enable marine mammal watching regulators and operators to understand and correctly implement the UNEP guidelines. A basic regional training program could be developed and then adapted to each site. Any training program should include operational standards, such as knowledge on safety, first aid and hospitality, where and when to find marine mammals, regulations and techniques of approach, knowledge of marine mammal observation potential impacts on wildlife. The proposed trainings should build on trainings already implemented by regional partners. Networking tools are dedicated to marine mammal watching industry. The objective of such tools is to disseminate the guidelines and to facilitate their implementation. Workshops could be regularly organized with the members of the network along with field sessions. In addition, a WhatsApp group and a Facebook page could be developed. Also, technical exchanges could be performed between both operator apprentices and more experienced ones. Also, the Whale Watch Operators Association Carib Well could, all, could be renewed. Regional certification targets marine mammal watching industry. Its objective is to encourage and facilitate the guidelines implementation. Operators would have to commit to a list of eligibility criteria in order to be able to use the certification. These possible certification specifications are detailed in a dedicated SPORAC document. They include rules of approach, a list of activities and vessels that should be prohibited, a list of eco-commitments, such as contribute to science and education, and a training. A regional baseline could be defined with the most important rules and then adapted to each site's local culture and environment. In order to supervise the certification, a legal study conducted by SPORAC suggested that the two most relevant legal instruments are national authorization schemes, that is permits and licenses, or a code of conduct that would be protected by a trademark. Such a certification based on a code of conduct has been developed by the ACOBAMS in the Mediterranean Sea. ACOBAMS presented this tool during last Karima online workshop last November. We uploaded this very informative video on our YouTube channel so that you can watch it if you're interested. To finish with, we would like to say a few words on the operational considerations regarding the development of the various tools. First, the SPORAC could develop a program to support the development and implementation of all these tools concomitantly. Afterwards, a regional organization, such as the SPORAC, a RAN or another NGO or IGO, could supervise the tool development disseminate the tools in all the wider Caribbean territories, periodically improve the tools, and support the implementation of the program on each territory by local organizations, such as local associations, MPAs, or public associations. Such uh, local organizations could be mandated by local authorities. 
The regional organization work would rely on the advices of a regional technical committee representative of marine mammal watching stakeholders, that is marine mammal uh, commercial operators, managers and scientists. Of course, all depends on you and what the countries wish, wish to do in the coming years. Thank you for your attention and see you the 1st of March.